Marco Polo, hailing from the illustrious city of Venice, Italy, and gracing this world with his presence in the year 1254, stands as an indelible figure in the annals of human history, leaving an indelible mark as one of the most influential and revered explorers to have ever traversed the Earth's vast expanses. The individual in question, driven by an intrepid disposition, unwavering determination, and an insatiable thirst for cultural knowledge, embarked upon a truly extraordinary odyssey spanning a span of 24 years throughout the vast continent of Asia. This momentous expedition played a pivotal role in profoundly influencing the global comprehension of a multitude of distinct cultures and civilizations. The present discourse endeavors to delve into the life, journey, and impacts of the esteemed Marco Polo, a man whose extensive travels undeniably played a pivotal role in shaping the trajectory towards the globalized world we presently inhabit. The commencement of Marco Polo's expedition transpired in the company of his esteemed progenitor, Niccolo, and his esteemed avuncular figure, Maffeo, both of whom were esteemed purveyors of trade, having previously embarked upon ventures that extended as far as the illustrious land of China. In the year 1271, a youthful Marco Polo, at the tender age of 17, commenced his illustrious expedition alongside his esteemed progenitor and avuncular figure. Together, they embarked upon a momentous odyssey, navigating the ancient overland pathways that presently constitute the renowned Silk Road. The protagonist's expedition, replete with enigmatic perils and captivating allure, traversed the expanse of the Middle East, surmounted the unforgiving Gobi Desert, and arrived at the epicenter of Asia. The intended location of their journey was the esteemed court of Kublai Khan, the illustrious Mongol emperor, who, in his wisdom, had graciously dispatched a formal entreaty to the esteemed pontiff, beseeching for the presence of precisely 100 erudite Christian scholars to grace his court with their intellectual prowess. Regrettably, the aforementioned individuals failed to procure the anticipated scholars. However, it is worth noting that they did manage to acquire a wealth of invaluable knowledge alongside a sacred substance known as holy oil, which originated from the esteemed city of Jerusalem. The meticulous narratives provided by Marco offer a comprehensive portrayal of their encounter with the illustrious Kublai Khan, wherein the emperor's profound captivation with the Occidental realm and its divergent practices and erudition is vividly illustrated. The narratives authored by Marco Polo offer a remarkably vivid depiction of the extraordinary landscapes, diverse cultural milieu, sophisticated technological advancements, and extravagant affluence prevalent in the eastern regions. The Western world found his narratives regarding China's highly proficient postal system, extensive coal utilization, adoption of paper currency, and diverse multi-ethnic communities to be exceptionally captivating. The aforementioned works served as a means to expand the Western viewpoint pertaining to the East, a region that was predominantly perceived as remote and enigmatic. Throughout his tenure in the illustrious court of Kublai Khan, Marco Polo managed to cultivate a profound sense of trust and admiration from the esteemed emperor. The emperor, duly impressed by Marco's exceptional intellectual acumen and profound grasp of cultural nuances, bestowed upon him the esteemed designation of a special envoy. This prestigious appointment granted Marco the unparalleled privilege to embark upon extensive voyages and meticulously scrutinize regions within the dominion of Khan that were traditionally inaccessible to individuals hailing from foreign lands. This exceptional opportunity served to further enhance his understanding of Asian societies, a subject matter that he would subsequently chronicle in his renowned literary work, The Travels of Marco Polo. Upon the conclusion of their prolonged sojourn, the esteemed Polos, namely Marco Polo, and his illustrious father, Niccolo Polo, made their triumphant return to the illustrious city of Venice in the year of our Lord 1295. In spite of the skepticism encountered from their fellow Venetians, it is noteworthy that Marco Polo's meticulous descriptions were meticulously documented and subsequently consolidated into a literary work, thereby affording the Europeans their initial comprehensive insight into the Asian continent. Notwithstanding its initial dismissal as Il Milione, The Million Lies, the aforementioned literary work garnered significant popularity, thereby engendering a heightened curiosity in the relatively uncharted territories of the East and subsequently instigating numerous exploratory endeavors. The legacy of Marco Polo is characterized by its multifaceted nature. At the macroscopic level, 
It can be posited that his written record served as a catalyst for various expeditions, thereby undeniably contributing to subsequent advancements in the field of navigation. As per historical accounts, it has been purported that Christopher Columbus, the renowned explorer, purportedly possessed a copy of the esteemed Marco Polo's literary work during his momentous voyages. Moreover, his meticulous narratives regarding the opulence prevalent in the eastern regions, coupled with his persuasive arguments pertaining to the untapped commercial prospects, undeniably served as catalysts for the epic of European expeditions that commenced during the 15th century. At the microcosmic level, it is worth noting that the accounts of Marco Polo served as a pioneering manifestation of cultural interchange between the Eastern and Western realms. In doing so, they engendered a profound sense of reciprocal comprehension and admiration. The writings of this esteemed individual served as a poignant testament to the profound cultural opulence and remarkable technological progress that characterized the Eastern regions. In doing so, these writings effectively questioned and subverted the prevailing Eurocentric narratives that had hitherto dominated scholarly discourse. In summation, the enduring significance of Marco Polo resides in his extraordinary expedition, his astute powers of observation, and his open-mindedness and capacity to comprehend diverse societies. The life of the individual in question serves as a remarkable embodiment of a distinctive cultural nexus between the Eastern and Western hemispheres, thereby substantiating the notion that comprehension, flexibility, and reverence towards diverse cultural milieus can engender mutually beneficial interactions. The narratives he provided regarding distant territories and civilizations made a substantial impact on the field of cartography and the prevailing spirit of exploration during his era. Furthermore, these accounts persistently captivate the attention of both scholars and individuals with a penchant for adventure. The narrative surrounding Marco Polo serves as a poignant reminder of the inherent capacity of human curiosity and receptiveness to foster connections, even within an epoch preceding the advent of globalization.